guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a little chit chat on uh, four health. So a lot of you guys asked me about four health. So today we're going to do that for you guys. So four health is, oh wait, did I introduce myself? So I am Dr. Ray. I am here on YouTube as Animal Doc Ray and also on Instagram if you want to follow me there. Um, and I discuss food and all things veterinary and all that kind of stuff. So today we are doing a tractor supply brand uh, for health uh, by popular request. So we're gonna go through the package. We're gonna pick out um, some of the important things. We're gonna break it down and we're gonna see what it's all about. So for health is um, sold, I believe exclusively at tractor supply and they are actually a part of Diamond Pet Foods. So I had some questions and I emailed the tractor supply and they said, well, don't email us, email. Uh, Diamond and so they are a, a branch of the mega food company Diamond and that's where I had to go to get some extra information but we're gonna go to the tractor supply website the standards that we're gonna use are here on the page this is a um, from the textbook clinical small animal clinical nutrition the newest edition and so these are the standards as long as we are at about a three and a half to four and a half um, uh, energy density, these are gonna be, these are gonna be fine. Um, the package is going to be on an as fed. I did email the company to get the dry matter um, exact number. So we're gonna pop those up there and it's gonna help us go through our review. All right, so there is the housekeeping bit of business. Let's get into Four Health. So um, Four Health, this one that I'm doing, they have a bunch of different formulations that you can pick from. So if you go to tractorsupply.com, you can see they have, you know, all different, all different formulas available. Um, not going to go through all of them. If you guys have a specific one you want me to do, go ahead and. Um, email me, uh, write a comment down below, or you can actually send me a package. I think that would be kind of fun if you want to send me your food package, like when you're done with it. I have my PO box listed in the comment description section. And so yeah, you can send me your package and I can do a review on your package. But anyway, we're going to do the tractor supply um, website for this one. So I don't have the package readily available to me. So the front of the package is not anything special. We're going to be doing the salmon and potato version. Um, I think it is extremely important to note that this is with grains because you all know I have a beef with the grain free. Um, so we're not going to go into that. You can look at some other videos I have regarding it, but we're not going to like beat that constantly on every single video. So. It does have grains and I like that. It is a salmon um, and potato formula. We've got the picture on the dog. It's a 45 pound bag, so it's a nice, good, hefty size bag. For this 45 pound bag, it's $56.99. And that's about it on the front. Um, I will say, so it says salmon and potato formula. So um, the word formula, when they put it on a pet food package, actually has a meaning. Um, it is. The package of pet food is like a big, huge legal contract, basically. And so everything that's on there, um, almost everything that's on there actually has a meaning. And so when they use the word formula, what that means is that this food has to be, or is in order for them to put that word on there, the food needs to be um, a minimum of 25% of the salmon potato before the moisture is removed. So it's a dry food, so all the moisture is gonna be removed. So only 25% of what they put in there when it's still hydrated actually has to be salmon and potato. So, um, you know, just something to keep in mind there and we'll go through these packages and we'll kind of point these things out. But that's what the word formula means. Um, it says the food is for adult dogs and we're gonna verify that with the AFCO statement when we turn the package around. So that's the front of the package. The back of the package um, is super tiny. It's hard to read here. And we're gonna go down to the description that's printed to try to see if we can find the information we need. Um, again, you have your ingredient list here and I don't go over that too much because this is really highly manipulated. Pet food companies know that people look at that and don't understand all the stuff that goes into it. And so when you look at the ingredient list, just be careful with that. Um, I don't pay much attention to it outside of like the big things. And so 
we're not going to spend much time there. Uh, product details. It says uh, real salmon and vegetables provide appropriate nutrition. It's got glucosamine and conjointin. This is not a recognized AFCO um, supplement. And so there's not really an establishment. If you look through the establishment here, you can see that established guidelines, there's not really anything um, that talks about glucosamine and chondroitin, and that's because it's not an accepted um, and regulated thing. Neither is the omega-6, omega-3 fatty acids. Um, it does contain uh, zinc, selenium, and vitamin E, and it says it's formulated to meet the nutritional levels established by AFCO for maintenance. And so that's our AFCO statement. That actually is probably the most true statement on the entire package, and to me, is probably the most important. So here we can see that this food is formulated. They didn't do feeding trials. I prefer a food that's feeding child because it means they put a the little bit of the extra effort into it, but formulated is fine. And it is for adult maintenance, and so it's not all life stages. It's specifically for adults. So if you have an adult, you know, this is meant for them. The guaranteed analysis is um, another bit of information that can be helpful, um, but it does have somewhat of a limited use. And the reason is um, this is gonna be listed as minimums and maximums. And so we do not know the exact numbers unless you email the company and they provide it to you. And so that's what I did. And we're gonna use the information that they were able to send me. Um, I asked for all the information and then I got kind of an email back saying that the information is proprietary, which is, basically a way of saying that either they don't know exactly what it is or they don't want to tell, they don't want to give the time and the effort to tell me. So that was a little bit of a setback there, a little bit of a put off there, but I did get some of the information. And so we'll be able to do some of the analysis with the information they sent me. Um, anything that's starred here, so taurine, the omega-6, omega-3s, and the glucosamine chondroitin and the probiotics, um, you can see there that it's not recognized as an essential nutrient, and so there's not really gonna be standards for that. So let's get into the analysis. And so the, the first thing that we need to do is we need to check to make sure that the metabolizable energy is gonna be um, close enough to the standards that we don't need to do too many conversions. And so you can see that this is 3,500 um, um, kcal uh, per kilogram, um, which is 3.5, kcals per gram and in for us to be able to appropriately um you know compare it so we can have apples to apples with the standards we can give it you know a fair shake it has to be um at least you know between three and a half and four and a half and so we're good so see here uh, metabolizable energy three and a half to four and a half so we're good so we can go ahead and we can do the um, analysis now when i emailed them this is the information that I that I got. So I you know I just specifically asked for the protein, fat, calcium, calcium, and phosphorus because I think those are the most important things. And so this was the information that I got. Um, we've got 28.4% dry matter on protein, 15.3 on fat, 1.6 on calcium, and 1.1 on phosphorus. And so if we look over here, um, because we are in the correct metabolizable energy. If we have a normal body condition score, it's going to be on this side. If we have an inactive or obese prone, it's going to be here on this side. And so protein at 28.4% is going to be good for both categories. Fat at 15.3%, between 10 and 20, between 7 and 10. And so if you have a normal body condition score, and you can refer to my body condition score video to help you determine that, you're gonna be okay with this food in the fat range. But if you have an obese or inactive dog, this is gonna be probably a little bit too much fat for you. Calcium at 1.6. Ooh, I don't have the calcium on this chart. We're gonna have to pull a different chart for calcium. I've got a lot of charts for you guys. This comes from the um, Merck Veterinary Manual. It's a really good resource and I have it linked in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. They have a section on aquanutrient requirements for dogs and they give you nice ranges. So we don't want growth or reproduction. We're looking here for adult maintenance. We've got a minimum and a maximum. And so 1.6 on the calcium is gonna be fine. It's right in the middle. And then phosphorus at 1.1, um, we've got 0.6 as the, um, let's see here. 
1.5 is the um, maintenance minimum and 1.6 is the maximum. So we're right in the range for that. And that is important. Um, the calcium and phosphorus is important. I know, I know a lot of people um, really focus on like the fat and the protein, but calcium and phosphorus are extremely important because uh, overload of those minerals is really difficult on your pet's kidneys. Honestly, an overload of protein is really hard on your pet's kidneys as well. And so having the proper ratio and a proper balance of that is extremely important. So don't leave out when you're doing these analysis, the calcium and phosphorus, if you have to call them or email them or whatever to get that information, it's worth, you know, it's worth a little bit of extra time. Um, the other thing that I like to do is to see if they actually are giving an appropriate feeding guide for the food. So I think um, I hear a lot in practice, people are like, they always tell you to feed more on the bag because they wanna sell more food. I honestly, I'm not sure if that's true or not. So we're gonna figure it out right now. This food has 397 kcals per cup. And so we're gonna do a little comparison here. So they're saying that if your dog weighs, let's just pick one that's even, uh, 30 pounds, you need to feed two cups of their food. So two cups of their food at 397, so 397 times two is 794 kilocalories per day. And they're saying a 30 pound dog should get 794 kilocalories per day. So now we're gonna go to another chart. They don't actually wanna calculate the resting energy requirement. So we're gonna use a different chart, which I'm going to pop up here for you guys. Um, so for a 30 pound dog, 497. This is saying 794. that 30 pound dog should get two cups per day and it's 397 k cows per cup so 397 times 2 is 794 and if you use this chart which is the correct calculation for resting energy requirement and I'm making sure that I was looking at it in pounds a 30 pound dog only needs about 500 so everybody that is telling me that the pet food companies at least for health that the pet food companies put way too much on there because they want to sell more dog food may be right if you feed your pet for health do not use the feeding guidelines because they are really far off so okay that's probably the first bad thing that i've seen about this week everything else has been fine but the feeding guide is really 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 far off um okay so let's move on let's see uh let's see what people let's see what people think uh 4.8 stars They've got tons of reviews, like thousands and thousands. Everybody seems to love this food. Um, the dog food was amazing. Um, almost the same as the food we were paying two times as much for. Some people said the formula has changed. This one says, bad reaction for my dogs. My vet says potatoes are a very common allergy. Um, that's not true. I have a whole video on uh, allergies and greens and all that kind of stuff and that's actually not true i don't know if their vet actually said that or not but it's pretty pretty well established uh, among veterinary dermatologists that pets are allergic to the proteins most commonly and not potatoes i've actually never heard that before so um, they said my dog now has bald spots um but i don't i don't think that's true and i don't think that they deserve a one star for that because that's just probably um, okay, let's move on. Let's see. We had some questions that people asked. Um, you can read them here. Where is it manufactured? They're um, in the United States, two in California, one in Missouri, one in Arkansas, and one in South Carolina. So made here in the USA. Is the salmon wild caught or farm raised? And they said that they um, source their salmon from Norway and South America. Uh, so they are sourcing from outside of the country, so there can be some concerns there, but they do that because they do not want, due to concerns over sustainable fishing, they use a blend of wild caught and barn salmon. So, that's neat. 
a lot of people are asking about can you use this for urinary health can you use this for dogs with liver problems etc cetera, etc cetera. and um, you know they're appropriately recommending that you consult your veterinarian that they're not going to be able to tell you that information it depends on your pet's specific um, specific stage all good questions you can read through there there's a lot of good questions um, and so let's let's break this down. So it is a grain inclusive food, which is important to me. Um, it is following AFCO guidelines. It is for adult maintenance. That's important. The guaranteed analysis when converted to dry matter racist is right on point. Um, the only thing that was a little bit off, which I thought this might be an old wives tale, but we're gonna start looking into this. It's, this is true the feeding guideline was suggesting like double what what you should actually feed your dog so let's not do that um so for health pretty good you can find that chapter supply i think it's probably pretty readily available to most people and so yeah i think this is a good one um in fact i might feed this to my dog i mean i'm not interested in changing the food right now but pretty good one uh so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that that was for health salmon and potato formula adult dog food. Um, if you enjoyed this, please be sure to like and subscribe. I enjoy hearing you guys' comments. You can send me your food package. You can leave me a comment about what you would like me to evaluate next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.